A lot of times people don't realize that you've lost a certain type of habitat for certain types of wildlife. They look at the forest, they drive by there and they say, oh yeah, that's pretty, that's nice. But they don't realize that we've lost a component. So what we're doing is, you know, creating a biodiversity that Forbes State Forest. It used to be agricultural land, it's state bought. It's reverted into mature timber now that's not going to be harvested. We know that, uh, the Bureau of Forestry knows that, so they have allowed us to go in there to regenerate the habitat that the golden wing warbler needs. That warbler's population is declining to the point where it's a species of concern now in the eastern United States. Uh, you know that there's other types of wildlife that also use that same type of habitat that are also declining. But we're like the quick reaction force, you know, we go in and instead of talking about it for five years, it'll be done. While we're at it, we're going to make a lot of habitat for other species, such as the American woodcock and the rough grouse, to Appalachian cottontail. Equipment that we have up there makes the work go so much easier and faster. And it's so great when the shear can go in there and grab an hawthorn and pull it out. Then the guys can come in and take down the bigger timber by hand, cut the tips off, and the rotary machine goes in and grinds that up, and you can walk through and it, it makes room, which is what we want get some sunlight in and get the uh, regrowth growing this summer. If somebody went out there and looked at it now, they, they'd probably wonder what happened there, but in a year or two, they're going to see the results of this. It will happen.